The Admin section of Creative Studio offers several key functions. To access the admin, look in the top right hand corner for your login name. Click on that and click on Administration. You will see several different functions listed across the top. Jobs, My Images, My Templates, Product Categories, Resellers, Designer, and Get Support. We'll take a look at each one of these individually. Every job that you have saved for printing has been saved in the jobs folder, whether it's been printed or not. Here you can see a complete list of everything that has been set up to this point. Using this area, you can also delete images if you wish. For our purposes, we're going to combine multiple jobs into one print sequence. We're going to select the Mavericks license plate, and we're going to print two of these. We're going to select the Cracovia plaque and we're going to print four of these. We're going to select this coaster and print six of them. And we'll add one more. We'll use the Vikings coaster and we'll produce four images for this one. Once the selections have been made, click the print button. This will send the images to the print manager and the print manager will open on your screen. Currently you'll see that the system has set it up to print with an individual print on each sheet of paper. So one print per page and that's a total of 14 pages. The group images function will automatically group images together to maximize how many images will print per page. In this case with 8.5 by 11 we've gone from 14 pages down to 4 pages. However with 8.5 by 11 the large license plate will not fit and in fact you get a warning here one or more jobs do not fit with the current page settings. You can select a different page size and see if that helps out. In this case we're going to go with 8.5 by 14 and in this case it is now large enough to accommodate all the products. We have a total of five pages instead of 14 and all the product images are accounted for. This has all been done automatically. In some cases we may find that images are too close together. We can change the spacing using the spacing function here and the system can actually rotate images as needed to help maximize placement on a page. By experimenting with different paper sizes provided that your printer can print those different page sizes you can see additional layouts and additional improvements in efficiency of paper use. Once you're satisfied with the setup of the jobs take a look at the jobs tab. Under the jobs tab it does list the individual jobs that we sent for printing and the quantities that we set up for it. At this point you can change the quantities. For example, with this coaster, if you decide you need to do six rather than four, uh, you can make the change right here and we'll increase it to six units and you can see they were actually added in as we made that selection. So anything that we change here will automatically be updated over here. If you wish to delete one of the images, simply make the quantity zero. Once you're ready to print, click the print button and it will send the job to the printer. My Images has two different functions. One is to work with the images that you have uploaded and they're filed under My Images. The other is to work with the different image categories that will display within Creative Studio. My Images Categories controls which image categories will display in Creative Studio. If you do not have any images selected in this window, then all image categories will display when you're using Creative Studio. If you prefer to limit the selection to specific categories, you can choose those categories here and then only those will display. To do this, click in the window and then identify the different categories you would like to display. And then click Submit. Now only these categories will appear 
in your Creative Studio Designer window. To have all categories appear, then remove selected categories from the Choose Categories window. Click Submit. Now all categories will appear in the Creative Studio Designer window. In addition, any new categories that have been created will automatically appear as well. The second function of My Images is to work with the images that you have uploaded. Here you'll see a list of any images that you have uploaded to your Images folder. You can use this page to delete any of the images. You can also change the name of the images by using the Edit function. If you click on Edit, you can type in a new name here and assign it to this particular image. You can see the change has been made here. You can also search. This will be searching by the file name. By typing just a few letters of the file name, it can usually find the file that you're looking for. Please keep this in mind when you're choosing file names. My Templates has two functions. The first is to work with the templates that you have created. The second is to control which template categories display in the Creative Studio Designer window. We'll start with template categories. To only see specific categories in your Creative Studio, make selections below. If you click in the window next to Choose Categories, you will see all of the available categories from Creative Studio. You can limit which ones are seen by choosing just specific categories to display. Anything that you add to this window will display, all of the other ones will not. Then click Submit. If you prefer to have all categories displaying, then remove any entries within the Choose Categories window. With no categories showing, all categories will appear. Click Submit. In addition, when all categories are appearing, any new categories that are added to Creative Studio will automatically appear as well. My Templates is where the templates that you create are stored. You can view them here or you can delete them. The search function allows you to search for a specific template or templates. Simply type in the name and the system will search for that particular template. Usually you'll only need the first few letters before the search is complete. Here you can see typing in MAV brought up the Mavericks template. Product Categories allows you to select specific product categories to show within the designer window. To see only specific categories in Creative Studio, make selections below. Click on the box next to Choose Categories and then choose the specific ones you would like to show. Then click Submit. Now only these product categories will display when you're working within Creative Studio. If you prefer to have all product categories display, then remove any product categories from the Choose Categories box and then click Submit. If no categories are selected, all categories will actually appear. In addition, when new categories are created, they will automatically appear as well. Resellers allows you to set up the Creative Studio Custom Catalog feature. With this feature, you can set your system up so that the products that are shown are from a specific supplier's catalog. You must first obtain the primary product catalog code from the reseller of your choice. Uh, please note that not all sublimation resellers are involved with this particular program. Enter the code into the primary product catalog box. Click Save. The reseller's logo will appear in the top right hand corner and now the product list within the designer has been modified to only show products from their catalog. Here's an example. We'll click on Designer. We'll click on the down arrow. You can already see that the product category list is significantly smaller than the master list. For this example, 
click on Chromalux Creative Borders, click Next, click Next, click Next, and Start Designer. When the product appears, you will see that there is a catalog code number below the product. You will also see that this is a link to that product. If you click on the link, it will take you to the resellers page to provide more information about that particular product. Using the Creative Studio custom catalog feature, it makes it easy for you to see exactly which products are available from your reseller and then to get more information about any of the products as well. To change back to the master catalog, click on the admin access button, click on administration, go back to resellers, and here if you remove the resellers custom code, then it will return the system back to the master list. If you would like to include the master catalog as well as the resellers catalog, you can type Sawgrass into secondary product catalog and click save. When you look at the product list, you will now see the complete product list and in the case of individual products, the ones that are carried by the reseller will typically have a link to the reseller's website, whereas the ones that are just part of the master list but not part of the reseller's catalog will usually only have a manufacturer's part number. Designer will take you back to the online designer for Creative Studio. Now you're ready to begin creating a new project. Get Support will take you to the support pages for the Creative Studio product. From here you can access tutorials, how-to videos, and troubleshooting videos. As well you can contact support. You have the option of chat support, email support, or phone support, and for Creative Studio it's available 24-7, 365 days per year.